So the first method I'm going to show you today is called the slash and spread technique. And as you can see on my mini pattern, I don't have any seam allowance. You can work with seam allowance if you feel comfortable doing it. But if this is your first time doing it, it's always easier to start without seam allowance than to get yourself confused with all the different lines and things. Um, as you can see, I already cut my dart out. Now I didn't cut it to the dart tip. I actually cut all the way up to the apex. So keep that in mind. Anytime you're rotating darts on a bodice, you want to be sure that it goes to the apex and and not to the dart tip. So it doesn't matter where you're going to be rotating your dart to. Here I'm going to be doing it to about mid armhole, but you can do this technique regardless of where you're rotating your dart to. So the first thing you're going to do is to draw a line from your apex to wherever you want your dart opening to be at. Once you've done that, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut to, but not through your apex. So what this does is it leaves a little bit of paper left over. So that way it creates a little hinge and makes it just a little bit easier for you to keep your place. If you do accidentally cut through it, it's no big deal, but it does make it much simpler if you don't. Using that hinge, we can just take that little piece and close our old dart up and it will open up a new dart at our mid armhole. And then I just like to tape that part closed. And typically you can use scrap paper if you want to, to fill in the seam allowance and the dart intake now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and copy it onto a fresh sheet and show you guys what else you need to do. So the first thing I always like to do is to draw a straight line and to use that as my center front just to make sure that it's always going to be perfectly straight and that I'm not accidentally tracing off a wobbly line. Then I trace around my entire piece and I make sure to mark my apex. It's very important that your apex is always on your pattern just in case you need to make adjustments. Once everything is transferred over to your fresh sheet of paper, you can go ahead and find the center mark of your dart and draw a straight line right down the center. And then following that line, um, I like to shorten my darts about five eighths of an inch and then do a half inch from that point for the punch hole. Now the five eighths of an inch is just kind of standard, but um, depending on the style that you're choosing and how large your bust is, you might decide to shorten the dart even more than that. And that's perfectly okay. The second method is called the pivot method. And on my mini pattern, I don't have seam allowance on it, but I did leave the dart and dart intake uh, marked on my pattern just to show you guys. And it's a lot easier because we're going to be using a push pin and you need to have a little bit of paper for it to go through. So here is my apex. And this is the point that we are actually going to be putting the push pin through. Once again, it's very important that you completely ignore the main dart legs that you typically use in the punch hole and everything, and you only rotate from the apex. So once again, I'm going to transfer my dart into my mid armhole approximately. And the reason that I really like this method is because it is much cleaner. There's less cutting out and taping involved. And so it is a little bit more efficient once you get the hang of rotating darts. I really do recommend this method. But I start out by drawing my center front line with a ruler just to make sure it's perfectly straight. Now, if you have a cork pattern table, this is where it's really going to come in handy because you can actually pin your pattern down directly to your table and that's super helpful. But if not, that's okay. Just hold it with your hand or some pattern weights. So the first thing we're going to do is trace around our pattern piece, but we're not going to trace the entire thing. We're going to start at the center front waist and we're going to draw from there to our first dart leg and we're going to stop. We're not going to trace off any of the dart intake because we don't want this dart. We want our new dart. Then we're going to go up to the neck and we're going to start at center front as well. And we're going to trace all the way around our pattern piece until we reach the point of our new dart location. And then we're also going to stop there. Now we're going to take our push pin and we are going to push it through the apex. And if you have a cork table, then great, you can anchor it to that. If not, just hold on to it really tightly and make sure that it is anchoring the top piece to your paper underneath. So just like before, the only way that we can open up a new dart leg is for us to close our old one. So we've already marked the first dart leg onto our fresh sheet of paper. So now we're going to go ahead and close it by taking the second dart leg and bringing it to that point that we marked on our fresh sheet. From here, you can continue the line that we first started on our fresh sheet of paper, and you're going to continue that all the way around the rest of our waistline, our side seam, up until the point of where we wanted our new dart to be. 
Once you've finished with this step, go ahead and make sure that you have marked your apex and then you can remove the top pattern piece completely. And this is what we are left with. So from here, we can take our ruler and just draw a straight line going from our apex to each of the spots that we stopped. Now, if you notice, our bottom dart is completely gone because when we closed it, we did not trace anything off with it. And so now we are left with a very clean looking pattern and we didn't have to do any additional cutting or taping. And just like our last method, we're going to want to draw a line down the center of our opening. And now following that line, we're going to draw on our new dart tip, which is going to be approximately 5 eighths of an inch away from our apex, though it can vary depending on your personal preference, and then draw on our punch hole half an inch down from that. Now we can draw on our new dart by starting at the opening and drawing dart legs going up to our new dart tip. Now all that's left to do is to add our seam allowance and true our dart. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them down in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.